Welcome back, my second grade students. We are here for week number two of virtual art class. So this week you should have received your paper packet as well as one of these fancy workbooks. If you are fully remote cohort D students, you will be getting these soon. And in the meantime, I have uploaded the worksheet that we're going to be working today. So most of you may have re remember using these in first grade. So this is your own private workbook. It's kind of a sketchbook. You get to decorate it. It is your own personal work of art. Okay. But the worksheet we're going to be working today is the first page. And it says, I'm in second grade. Here is my self-portrait. Now, you're probably thinking, I remember doing something like this. I think we did this last year. Well, guess what? A self-portrait is something that we do every single year because artists do them every single year. It is a way that artists like to look at their artwork and see exactly what they do from year to year, how they improve on their skills. And as you get older, your skills are going to get older. So we're going to be doing another self-portrait. And to remind you what a self-portrait is, it's a picture of you. So we're going to learn a little bit of history about why artists do self-portraits. And then I'm going to show you exactly what you are going to do. All right. So let's watch. The History of the Self-Portrait Once upon a time, a long time ago, kings and queens ruled the land, and they wanted to be remembered forever. But cameras hadn't been invented yet. But they were rich, and they had the means to be able to hire artists to paint their portraits. But then artists decided... Why should they have all the fun? We're beautiful too. I'm the one with the talent. I should be drawing my own picture. And so artists decided to paint their own self-portraits. They can even create their self-portraits in their own artistic style. Today, we take self-portraits all the time. We just use our cameras and cell phones in order to do it. Here are some selfies that I have taken. Selfies can be fun. They can be a way to remember special occasions and places that we have visited. So what is your self-portrait going to look like? So I hope you now have some ideas on what you want your self-portrait to look like. Do you want to do an up-close one of just your head? Do you want to do one far away with your whole body? Do you want to add your hobbies into it, like playing soccer or doing cheerleading or maybe singing a beautiful song if that's what you do? Okay, so you're going to need a piece of paper, the worksheet, hopefully a mirror, and some drawing supplies. Okay, all right, let's get started. Right, so my station is already set with all the supplies that I need. I've got my drawing tools, my pencil in case I make a mistake I can erase, my Sharpie which I trace over my pencil to make it really stand out, and then I've got different choices for coloring. I personally like colored pencils better because I can blend them and make new colors, but it's completely up to you what kind of colors you like to use this week. I've got my paper ready to go. Like I said, if you don't have your workbook yet, you can download and print out the worksheet, or you can use just a plain piece of paper for this project. It's okay. All right. And then the last helpful tool this week is if you have a mirror, this way I can see exactly what my shapes of my face is. I can see the colors of my eyes. I can see the color of my hair, and that's going to help make my drawing more realistic. All right, so when you are ready, let's get drawing. <laughs>
Once you have completed your self-portrait, you are going to be uploading it into a Google slide. I have already made the slide for you. All you have to do is take the picture and then go back into your Google Classroom and turn in the assignment. All right, happy creating.